Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. So we're back in the larger district. Oh, can't show you on the map because I'm indoors. But yeah, I took the metro over to this side. And before I continue on with side quests in this area, I want to go back to Jim Miller's apartment. So this is the director of TF29. Uh, remember, we punched this bag, opened this secret door, and there were two things I couldn't get into because I didn't have the hacking skill to do it. Well, now I either maybe have a hacking skill, since I did upgrade my hacking to three, or if not, I have uh, two multi-tools, and I can make a bunch more, too. So I'm really curious what's in here, because remember, like at the very beginning of the game, pretty much after the tutorial mission, we were made to think that Jim Miller probably knows more than they're letting on, the, the fact that they actually assigned us to that mission at that arms deal in the first place. So something more is going on. Yeah, security rating 5, that one definitely needs a multi-tool. Gas grenade, another multi-tool, nice. Come on, pocket secretary. Your financial report. Dear Mr. Miller, we regret to inform you that the account is closed. You have 24 hours to remove the contents of the safe. Anything left over there after this date will be inaccessible after that time. Your existing code of 1363 is still valid. Palisade Bank. Oh, we have at least two passwords for like lock boxes at Palisade Bank, which I think is where I'm going to go after this, by the way. Ah, security rating three, so I can now do this one. Of course, it's probably going to be pretty difficult. Actually, no, that doesn't look hard at all. Hmm. I don't, you know, I was thinking that the harder the difficulty of the hacks are, you know, the more nodes it would take to get there, the easier we'd be traced, but I don't actually know if that's true. so close. It's like half a second away. Let's try that again. Let's actually grab both of these at the same time and fortify them right away. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Hmm, something actually, hold on, let me disconnect again. Something's going on. I keep trying to fortify that one node, the first one that I take, and it's not going anywhere. It's stuck at like fortifying 0%. I think there's some sort of a I don't know, it's like the trace program is using something against me. I also saw, I think, a firewall thing up here. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's bad for me. Access there we go. Wanted. Overclock. What? Nothing? Ah, oh, Miller, you little shit. It was a red herring. Now that I've got a better hacking skill and more multi-tools, I'm just taking a look around here, seeing if there's anything that I didn't open. There was a door that was locked. I just hacked, went inside, but we already had gotten to that apartment through some other means, just not through the front door. And I just noticed this. Sorry, apartment. Oh. And yeah, this just leads to the apartment that I just hacked open that we've already been inside of. Ooh, seahorse. Just came across the gun salesperson here. Um, ideally, I would like a laser sight for my stun gun, but they don't seem to sell that. I think I, I know I already bought one. I don't know if I bought it from them and they just don't get like they don't restock maybe. But uh, I guess a hollow sight is a good runner up. It's only a thousand, and I've got like thirteen thousand. Yes, I've wasted your time, blah blah blah. Let's see if we can put it on. I cannot. Hey, I've got a, a nice reflex sight for you. Okay, so we've arrived at Palisade Bank, this huge imposing structure. 
wonder if I can actually like go to all the floors. Are there a million offices that I can loot for stuff? I'm excited. Excited at the possibilities. But uh, yeah, we do have an official quest here. That's the journalist that we spoke with underground. They want me to dig up some dirt on whatever the biggest news organization was called. And they want me to like try to find some dirt in the CEO's office inside the Palisade Bank. So we've got that. And then we have a couple, not really quests, but we have some passwords to various lockboxes and stuff. Oh yeah, the Neon Rave place was just over there. I remember hiding on top of this building after I used an explosive to get through a structural weakness. So I've already been inside of Ludvik's. Oh my god, look at these! It's a face! I kind of want to get to the top of that thing. You think there's anything up there? Doesn't look like it, but my vision might not have the range. Oh, there's no way I can do it. Nope. Ooh. Oh, whoa, this actually is leading somewhere. Yeah, two apartment buildings I can go inside of. I love the verticality in Deus Ex. Hmm. That's a problem. There's no window I can open. There's something on the other side. There's a balcony on the other side. Can I get over, though? Could I break this glass, like, if I shot it? Uh, I don't know... I doubt you can, and I also don't know if any of my guns would break glass. Well, this battle rifle would, if it's even possible to break the glass. It's probably some futuristic glass, though, but obviously that'd make everybody freak out. Mm, let's try this. Whoa. I mean, it, it cracked. Hmm. Well, I don't want to waste too much train ammo. Is there a melee attack in this game? No, there isn't a punch. But uh, I am thinking I can probably throw an object at it to break it, if I had to guess. So let's go into this other apartment, check it out, and see if we can find something to throw. Such as, oh, I'm not gonna throw the potted plant. Could find something non living to sacrifice. Someone likes their alcohol. Oh, I could pick up shots of alcohol, not just alcohol bottles. Whoa, story item? Putting photograph belonging to a woman called Stana Tomasek. There's a date written on the reverse. It must be a password to something. And look at how detailed this photo is. Like, not only does it look great just from the front, but once you turn to the side and see the reflection on it, look at the crinkles where it's been folded in the center. That is gorgeous. Yep, story item. <laughs> More cereal. <laughs> I feel like half the apartments I go to in Deus Ex are just people that live on pizza, cereal, and beer. Yep, just alcohol to pick up. Aside from the computer. 
Well, I guess I'll enter the password. Um, is it... I mean, is it just 2020? It's, it's gotta involve the May, right? But it's probably converted to numbers, so I don't think it'd be May 2020, no. Hmm, maybe that story item isn't actually related to this password. Um, since I can hack it anyway, I'm just gonna hack it. Yeah, I tried a bunch of combinations. 5, 20, 20, 0, 5, 20, 20. This doesn't look too bad, but then again, another one didn't look too bad either. Ooh, it's gonna get me through here, though. I'm probably gonna want to take this and fortify it. You know what I need to do? I need to stop being stingy with all the software I've got. I keep collecting all of this hacking software, and I very, very rarely ever use it. If I keep doing that, I know I'm gonna finish the game with like 50 discs of each type. Let's actually use them. So, data scan, not really important. Overclock could be good. Don't have any reveal, doesn't matter. Stealth doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I can nuke and also stop worm. I'm not, you know, I don't know why stop worm and nuke are in like different parts of the menu. Nuke is on a particular node. I guess that's because nuke only applies to the specific node that you're doing. So what nuke does is it makes you instantly capture a node, but you have a 100% chance of being detected. Yeah, it looks like I have eight of those. Um, I don't know why stop worm is up here. I guess just because it's near the time. Uh, what stop worm does is just freezes the clock of you being traced for a couple seconds. So just buys you some time. So, yeah, let's use these. I mean, I have, you know, I have so many nukes. How about this? Nuke is N. How about I just nuke all the ones on the way here? Like, I'll fortify myself, take this, and then nuke nuke. Oh, actually, I don't have to. Anomaly detected. Oh. Trace program initiated. We'll be fine, I'll nuke this. Wait, what? Access denied. Did I use a nuke? I pressed N. I, it looks like I hit a firewall. Did that use up my nuke and stop it? I don't understand how firewalls work. Okay, after about a million attempts, I finally managed to get this one without being detected. It's only a 60% chance, but I got detected like five times in a row. Also, I managed to hit this spam and hitting it actually bought me like a second or two on the clock. So these spam things are definitely worth hitting. So this one is going to be my my real attempt. Let's do it. I'm going to fortify this, fortify this. This will buy me the most time that I can in between it and me. I'm going to grab the spam that'll buy me a couple more seconds and I'll just go for this. And if I hit any problems, I can use stop worm a bunch of times. Yeah, so the firewalls seem to have stopped it from capturing for a couple seconds. Let's do a stop worm. So yeah, and it did consume the nuke, by the way. It did consume it. Access granted. So I guess if you tried to nuke on a node that has a firewall to it, it just completely wastes your nuke and the nuke does nothing. I guess that makes sense. You know, nuke, you're, you're sending a bomb to something with a firewall, I guess. Blows it up in midair before it can hit the ground or something. Pledge required expired account. Deepest sympathies on the news of your late husband in light of Mr. Thomas X's legal death as per the attorney's letters account and blah blah blah. I think we can see where this is going. Uh, 1305 is the code. Ask you to attend to this matter within 14 days. Okay. You can read that if you want. But yeah, we have uh, at least a third password for a safe box of some sort. Or vault. From Stana Tomasek to Windy. My dearest Windy, I've been trying to move on, keeping busy like you advised. And for the most part, I think I've been doing okay. But today the clouds gathered around me again. It's our wedding anniversary today and I find myself sitting here alone surrounded by so many memories. The good and the bad. I'm sorry, I don't really know why I'm writing this. I just can't help thinking that it was my fault for pushing him to go work there in the first place. He wanted contract work in the Middle East, but I thought the other opportunities sounded better. I'm such an awful person, Wendy. Hmm. Would this be... 
They died from uh, the Og incident, it sounds like. Working in Dubai, maybe? Outstanding payment from Hemingway's Fine Spirits. Mrs. Thomasek, I see that there is another two cases of Risling here for you awaiting delivery, and we have yet to receive payment on the last consignment. I'm not sure what the alcohol is for, but I almost feel compelled to suggest you might perhaps order less if you cannot keep up payments on such a high volume. I should remind you that we are not a wholesaler, and this alcohol is not to be resold under any circumstances. We deal with a small artisanal winery, and part of that deal is that we respect the producer's wishes for limited propagation of their product. You'll forgive me if I preempt any requests for credit. I'm a small business, Mrs. Thomas Heck, so I hope you understand it's not something I can afford to offer. I await your payment and wish you well. Well, given that and the huge amount of al alcohol we found around here, I think... If... If not an alcoholic, they were at least going on a, a bender. Alright, so we have some throwable cases of beer. Let's see if that can break this glass. <laughs> um, hmm, not heavy enough? Is there anything heavier I can grab? Fridge would be <laughs> fridge would be a little bit overkill. Like it's too heavy though. Huh. Hold on. Can I get to the other side of this apartment building? I can. And there is a balcony on the other side. So maybe, maybe I should just try to find it the way around the other side. Seems strange though that make they make this so like obvious that you can get inside, but. Maybe that's just a hint that, hey, maybe you should find another pathway. My wife is going to kill me. What the hell kind of crazy talk is this? I'm going to get the police. Yeah, so I just gotta get up there. Another face. No sign of anything. Hmm. Could I get on top of that rabbit? Might be a little bit too far to... Nah, it's too far to jump. There's got to be a way, though. If I could get on top of that sign, that would work. Ooh, yeah, actually, I can probably get on top of there by getting on top of this glass. Yes! Uh huh. That's so satisfying. The Long Meanwhile, Chapter 27. Oh, this is another. Uh, well, I think it's the same book by Daniel Fletcher that we already read, but it could be a different chapter. You can read this if you'd like. I'm gonna scroll through it. That's it. <laughs> Security rating one. That's nothing. So yeah, I get the feeling that the higher security ratings, I was I was wondering before whether they're actually more difficult. They definitely are. I think it's that the nodes are a higher level, meaning they take longer to capture. And also that there's more special things to look out for, like firewalls. Let's see, you are gonna get me from here and then here. Oh, crap. Trace program initiated. Couldn't take the pathway. I thought we could. Yeah, I didn't look at this. Spam only goes this direction, not that direction. So we gotta go all the way this way to get to this green one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is awkward. I gotta capture this one just to fortify it. And ideally this one, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can just go to this one and then this. Okay, that's no big deal. Yeah, we got this. Access granted. 
turned violent. This escalation in the violence and rhetoric. She may well be a robot, but okay, we need to scale him. The story. This is Eliza Kazan, reporting to you. A leg Drago. They may have batteries, but we got this. Multi tool, nice. Got their bags packed. Ready to go somewhere. Three painkillers, wow. Alright, yeah, so this one's probably gonna be tougher than it looks. Difficulty three. Yeah, so difficulty three means everything is like three or above in no difficulty. Generally it looks like this one's two, but most are three and one's four. Okay. So it's gonna get at me from here and then here. And I have to come that way anyway to get this one, so I'm gonna to wanna to fortify these. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Do a stop worm, I think we're fine. Access yes. Granted. Test results. Dear Mr. Drago, the tests have come back negative, and as far as I am concerned, this eliminates all other explanations. It is my formal diagnosis that your headaches are caused by your neural augmentation. This is potentially very serious, but not something I can treat. My advice is to approach an authorized augmentation specialist through one of the main Prague hospitals and have it fully scanned, even though they will be required to register your augmentation. Please let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Damn, that sucks. So that's probably why there's painkillers all over the place, trying to manage their horrible headaches. Yeah, so it's someone who has an un unregistered augmentation. And no wonder. I mean, why the hell would you want to register your augmentation? Apparently it's... God, that's sick. So if you register your augmentation, you can obviously be called out and selected for... For, um... You know, special treatment, poor treatment. They'll require you because you're augmented to have the chip installed or be forced into some sort of augmented ghetto. You'll be segregated. And if you don't register, you can't receive proper care. It's horrible. Palisade Bank. Security checks on your account have now cleared. Means access to your VIP services, etc., etc. Now ready. Bring in your biometric identification card on the data stick we provided. Present it to me in person so we may present you with your client access card. I don't have access to that, do I? Biometric identification. Stock alert. Sorry to hear you're not feeling great, but thumbs up for private medical at least. Just wanted to give you a heads up before you come in tomorrow that we have a new mandate to liquidate all our clients' stocks in Condell Securities by the end of the week. The board just learned that they are that they still sell insurance to Augs and it's causing ripples. Surprise, surprise. Dirty hands are even depressing the market, for God's sake. Hope you're better tomorrow, buddy. I <laughs> really did a number on this glass. I'm really curious what this place looks like on the inside. Whoa. Yeah, the style on the inside is just as... Intriguing as the style on the outside. Integrated wood into their design. It's interesting. So it's like mostly kind of brutal, squarish concrete slabs. And just lots of squares and rectangles, but also some trees? 
Some nature? Although there's no green, it's just... Just wood. No leaves. Hmm, yes. So Why don't we do that? Thank you. A pleasure, sir. So executive safes on level one, level two, lobby, level three, offices. Restricted. That's must be where I need to go to access the CEO's office. For that quest. Bob Page, Anatomy of a Prodigy. Acquisitions. Page married his long-term partner, a behavioral therapist, and founded a venture capital slash tech incubation firm in Palo Alto, Page Industries. Initially, Silicon Valley tech blogs sniped that his industry was spinning on his swivel chair, alone in an empty warehouse. Page actively pursued dual-use technologies, reasoning that it doubles chances for a hit. After a string of investments in biotechnology, AI, and nanotechnology companies, Everett advised him to buy a controlling stake in the recently NYSE delisted pharmaceutical giant Versalife, free-falling since its pre-millennial golden age. A number of even more risky acquisitions followed. Defunct genetic therapy research laboratories, failing biotechnology concerns, emergent tech startups that never emerged, it looked like another rising star was crashing to the earth. Then, neuropathy happened. In 2020, Darrow Industries sold Versalife its exclusive patent on production of the anti-augmentation rejection drug every augmented person needed to survive. And company fortunes took off. Page Industries made billions. Bob Page was 31 years old. Ah, so that's what neuropazine is for. It's to prevent rejection of augmentations. Right, I mean, the augmentations are they're like organs in your body. I mean, sometimes they're they're standing in for organs, I imagine. Some other things are I guess enhancements and maybe sort of like organs and that your body might reject them. Just like any sort of a transplant can be rejected. Makes sense that augments would be able to be rejected too. Please see the receptionist. Should I speak to the receptionist? I'm not really sure what I would say. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts, exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense. But security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? Your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our saves are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized key cards to gain entry. That's all? Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The key card also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. Hmm. That's interesting. So I have some passcodes to something. Maybe corporate vaults? But as far as the executive vaults, I don't have any sort of a bio-identification card. Which means, based on what they just said, even if I did find a way in, not having the card would mean it won't disable things like the turrets. So it's going to be hard to get in, probably, and then even harder to actually avoid all the security measures once you're inside. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. 
How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. So, this is a data haven. Well, we don't use that term here, but yes. We archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to... Uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. I think anti-capitalism sounds pretty good to me. But yes, I mean, I suppose any bank would be pro-capitalism, wouldn't it? Thanks for the information. <laughs> that is incredibly cool. That is hypnotic. Gentle blocky waves. Yeah, the visual, just the visual design of this place is really cool. Oh, there's going to be so much for me to hack and get into. Although I'm a little bit worried that I don't have the ability to disable turrets. But I can disable cameras, which are probably going to be the biggest threat. <laughs> Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to dig our teeth into the Palisade Bank.